All right, so we love him already. <laughs> His first words were, is my hair okay? <laughs> no. Yes, he just said, we were like, what, is your hair? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> All right, you guys, good morning. Very, very special good morning. So we have woken up early. We are all dressed. We are ready to go. We are currently headed to the hospital with Mr. Lando here. It's surgery day. It is surgery day, everybody. He's a little nervous, rightfully so. No, We've got... actually not. <laughs> feeling good? Hey, okay, baby, he's feeling pretty good. I think he's also really excited because his leg yeah. has been really bothering him on this trip. He's excited to feel better, huh, buddy? Yeah, and it's also because my dad gets to be in there. So he's pretty excited about me being able to go in the surgical room with him, aren't you, buddy? So the surgery is gonna be about two hours long. About, about, two, hours, yeah. about two hours. Guys, we've gotten so many wonderful messages. We've gotten some videos of people wishing him luck and they're thinking of him. Tons of comments. Guys, we're going into this pretty excited, fully prepared with a ton of group support. So everybody, wish us luck. Here we go. <laughs> Driving right now, mom and dad. My dad says we're driving to the hospital right now. We're gonna do food landing. We just wanted to wish you all the best. We've both had surgery before and it's pretty cool. You close your eyes, go to sleep, and next minute you're awake in the future. It's pretty much like time travel. All right, you guys, we are in the car on the way to the hospital and we have been showing Landon videos and Marco Polos of friends and family members that have sent well wishes to him and he's putting a big smile on his face back there, huh, Land? My sister Amy sent Landon a playlist of hype songs for this morning. So we have been playing some songs, getting him all excited, yeah. taking his mind off of his worries this morning. It's gonna be so awesome. He's making a couple of key phone calls to the papas and grandmas of the family here. Yes, he is so loved. We are feeling so much love and so much support today. We are so grateful. Yes, Mom. Oh, no, I don't know. It's like so serious. You don't have to go to sleep yet. Crazy anatomy. Lando, tell them the thing that, that you said that's been making me laugh all morning. I have to wear a skirt. <laughs> we put this on and he goes, I have to wear a skirt? <laughs> been laughing about pretty hard this morning, huh, Land? That is just impressing all the nurses over here. First, he told them, oh, my blood pressure's a little high. <laughs> She's like, well, what's normal? Uh, 120 over 80. And then she asked him what her age was, and then I'm pretty sure it was about half of a second, and he said, oh, well, you were born in 1978. And she's like, what? <laughs> Who is this guy? Is he gonna be a doctor, a mathematician? And we put it, what do you do this morning? Come here. I tie it kind of tight like that. And what it does is it makes your veins pop up. And I might tap a little on you. And that, see, see how that vein's getting bigger? That's what this does. Okay, so see, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna tap it. So she's tapping it to get it to pop wake up Wake up, bit. it's gotta wake up and s where I can see it. Yeah, there you go. So if you wanna put, hang your hand down here and do this, to make, pump it up. Like this? Yeah. There you go. What about, okay, how about this? What year was David? Love you, Lando. All right, guys, so I got to go and 
all the way back to the surgery room where they induced him and then he fell asleep. So I wasn't able to stay and observe the surgery itself, but I was there up until he closed his eyes and uh, fell right asleep. So that's really what he was wanting more than anything is that someone to walk him back there and the last face that he saw before he fell asleep would be, would be a familiar one. So I came back, he's in total good hands. The staff is incredible here. Mm -hmm. So sweet, so kind, so loving. He was really nervous this morning, very, very anxious about everything, and the staff just did everything they could to help him feel comfortable, the warm blanket, walking him through every step. He just really wanted to know what was going on, you know? Yeah. It's that feeling of, someone's going to put me to sleep, but I won't know what's happening. So they promised him that they would tell him exactly what was going on, and I'm just so glad he's in there, because sometimes the part before is the most stressful part. Totally. So it's like, once you're in there, the next thing you know, you're waking up and it's over with. So I'm just glad we got to that spot, and now I think the next hour and 47 minutes will feel the longest hour and 47 minutes of our lives, mm -hmm. but at least we can do it together. Well, they send text messages as soon as the surgery's kind of begun, so we we'll probably would get one here any second, and then we just get tied text message updates throughout. So, yeah, I think everything should be okay. It was kind of interesting that anesthesiologist said this was the first time she's ever had a parent present during an induction. Really? Yeah. yeah. So there we go. Lando, buddy. We people pulled out all the stops for you, buddy. Pulled all the stops for you this trip. Oh, it's mm -hmm. funny, I got a little emotional. I try not to. I tried not to show up when I was back there, but just seeing him just fall asleep just made me so grateful for that little guy. You're awesome, buddy, we, if you're watching this. We were actually talking on the way over here, and I wanted to listen to the song by Andy Grammer, Don't Give Up On Me. Don't listen to that song if you don't want to cry. Yeah, that's true. I put that song to a little clip of him on the airplane and, I don't on know, Instagram. on Instagram, and it makes me cry every time I watch it. It just represents, you know, the fact that he's that little boy, up. yep, and he's had to fight so much in his life, and he'll be stronger for it, but just that view of him flying all the way to Texas to get this surgery just really symbolizes the fight he's had his whole life. If you guys have not actually seen that, it's pretty, it's a pretty cool clip. So check out our Instagram, I Life in Holland. All right guys, now we wait. Right, you guys, he is out of surgery. The surgeon just came out here and talked to us. He is such a good man. I just feel so grateful that we found this surgery and found this doctor. And it just sounds like everything went really well. Yeah, yeah we got some instructions. He's gonna, we'll talk maybe a little bit later in the video, but yeah, he's, he might be uncomfortable for a little bit. He's gotta wear these leg immobilizers for two months when he sleeps at night, in which you'll see those. But he said all in all, the surgery was major success. The nerve blocks, he said, worked incredibly well. Yes. So Landon has something called spasticity where his brain over fires a signal to his muscle and causes tightness to the nerve blocks. You can't do it for every single muscle, but specifically for his adductors, they do a nerve block, which blocks that signal coming from the brain to the muscle. So for a year, Landon will not have the spasticity in his adductors, which is causing his knees to turn in, which is huge. Huge. Honestly, I'm so excited for him to feel. He's gonna feel so loose. What this feels like. Yeah. And, and I think the doctor kind of Loop. explained to us how he's going to really kind of feel unstable and it's gonna take him a little while to get used to it and to get used to how to use his legs. In fact, he actually just barely wrote him a prescription for a, a walker. walker. Yeah. He's, he, he used to walk through when he was tiny, yeah, tiny. Guys, he hasn't had a walker since he was like baby. Yeah, 18 months, two years old. But he thought that it would be a really good idea that first month when he's getting used to using his body to use that walker to take the pressure off of that hip that's starting to come out of the socket. I felt like it would be really great because the walker would take the pressure off of his hip. So we're gonna get him a walker. The surgery is done, but there's so much more to come. So much ahead of us and we're ready for it. All right guys, let's go see Lando. Aren't you guys? We are going back to see Mr. Lando right now. I cannot wait to see him. Guys, we both were just getting teary under our masks over there just thinking about how life-changing this could be for him. All right, so we love him already. <laughs> His first words were, <laughs> Is my hair okay? <laughs> no. Yes. He just said, we were like, what? Is your hair? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> so I have a fan. Absolutely. Hey, buddy. Oh, he's, oh, he's shivering. He's getting cold. <laughs> so part of that's probably um, as, as they wake up from anesthesia, too. So. Lando, good morning. What do you think of your cast? It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool? I wish they had, like, light, light blue. blue. <laughs> Dark blue is not doing it for you? Here's popsicle. Ooh, orange popsicle. Here we come. Last one. 
Can I put my clothes back on? You sure can, buddy. You want to eat that popsicle first? Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. Good. <laughs> Do you still have the eye even? You do you still have the IV in, yeah. You think I'm funny? Must be the <laughs> anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for another hole to move my right arm. Another one? Another hole. What do you mean another hole in your right arm? Look, every time I have a theater of education, IV. <laughs> oh, the good. IV leaves a hole in your arm? So you're going to have another one. Oh. You're excited about that. Are you guys going to send me in the wheelchair or do you think I can walk right away? I'm thinking we're going to start on the wheelchair, like a ride. It would be like a like a ride out of here. I don't know though, maybe you could push me instead. <laughs> Look at you like crazy. <laughs> How many um, surgeries? How many surgeries did we have here today? Well, it felt like 17,000, but I think it was 43. You said, did you, did you bring my bed back to here? I didn't bring your bed back here, but the staff from the OR brought your bed in here. I'm confused. You remember them wheeling you into the surgery room? And your yeah. dad went too? Yeah. Yeah. When I started off before you guys weighed me. Yeah, so that that's called the pre-op area. <laughs> then you go to surgery, and then you come in here, and this is called the recovery room. Oh, I can't wait to walk correctly. My walking has been really bad. <laughs> You've been feeling kind of tight, huh? I don't feel looser quite yet. Not feeling it yet? Until you guys let me walk, I'll feel looser. Did you have any dreams while you were in surgery? Do. Yeah. <laughs> I woke up in two seconds. In two seconds? <laughs> That's what it felt like. You did time travel, just like Adrian said. What about you? How long did it okay. feel like for you? I don't know, Mom. How long did it feel for us? It felt a little bit longer than two seconds. Well, for, for me, I'm asleep. So yeah. I asked them to put me to sleep, but they wouldn't. You ready to go back to the hotel? Yeah. Let's get out of this place. Well, I'm a little bit of pain, so we're going to get some pain medicine into them right away. Yeah. Yes. Where's our wheelchair? Oh, it's coming. Well, let's talk about a perfect day, huh? It's not a bit of pool. Yesterday was the perfect day for him to swim, and today's the perfect day for him to just chill. All right, you guys, we have made it successfully back to the hotel here in Galveston. Mr. Lando is doing a, a pretty decent job of pain management here. He's being so brave. So I think the most painful things we're finding out are these leg immobilizers. So he is required to wear these for the next 24 hours for the entire time. And then thereafter, he needs to wear them at nighttime for the next two months. His body is comfortable when his legs are bent, but when they're straightened out, which is where his tightness was, that's where the pain is. So this is a little bit uncomfortable, especially after this surgery. So we are just hanging out, watching a little TV. We've got the beautiful ocean here to kind of keep us calm, keep us excited, keep us happy. These guys are living their best life, eating peanut M&Ms, and we're Found it. rocking some, well, hey, nice t-shirt, by the way, pal. Nice. You were incredibly brave today, you know that? Guys, smash the like button on this video if you think this guy was incredibly brave today. He's in a lot of pain and he's hanging in there. We're trying to get on top of it. We've given him some ibuprofen and we're gonna be rotating that the rest of the night. Hot school and Sam, so, and a date, and we're gonna go 
to oregano's in the Italian restaurant. So Landon is up and at it. He's actually uh, getting used to navigating this wheelchair on his own a little bit. But I think this is the first time you've actually ever used a wheelchair like on your own, right? Yeah. All right, show him your okay. skills real quick. Kid just had surgery today. I'm so happy to report that I think Lennon's pain is so much better than it was earlier. He was having a hard time hurting earlier. Anytime that we moved him in or out of the car, he was crying in pain. It was really, really sad. But I think his pain is much more under control now. He yep. seems a lot happier, a lot more comfortable. Getting a little wheelchair ride just to get him out of the room. Going a little stir crazy in there. I think tomorrow we'll be able to go out and about a little bit more, but he has to wear these leg immobilizers for the next 24 hours, which makes it a little trickier to go anywhere. Oh, you gotta push the elevator button? Yeah. Can you reach it? Sorry. No. Miles' mom. <laughs> Do not trust mom with the wheelchair. Guys, there are more options at this resort than there are meals for us left in a day. So we had to kind of be a little bit choosy. So we're gonna eat a little Italian tonight. However, it's such a popular spot. It's not available for another couple hours. So we thought we'd pull up a seat here poolside, snuggle up by the fire, and uh, just hang out here for a bit. Still relaxing, but able to get out of the room, get some new scenery, beautiful out here. The ambiance is amazing. Let's have a little uh, post-surgery interview, man. Do you want to say anything to our YouTube family? So I had to wear the cows for a, a month, a whole month. How are you? Month. How are you feeling? Pretty good. Are you excited to see what it's gonna feel like when you walk? Yeah. Are you in pain at all, Leno? Not really anymore. No. No. And tomorrow, it'll still be four months, but a little bit less. It'll be 27 days. <laughs> So what has been the worst part about this and the best part? So the worst part was that I was in a lot of pain earlier. Earlier he was in a lot of pain, yeah. My favorite part, I like actually having the cast on. It's actually kind of fun. <laughs> Can you not wait to go show all your friends at school? Yeah. All right, Lando's gonna try to walk for the first time. Hey. How does it feel, Lan? Do you feel so loose? Ahead. You can walk as slow as you need to, buddy. How's it feel? <laughs> it feels really loose. <laughs> it feels really loose, he says. <laughs> yes. Good work, dude. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking, he says. Look at you, buddy. You're doing it. You got right legs. Look at you go, dude! You got to take a break? Oh, um, no, not quite yet. Yes, it helps if you hold me. Is that better? Do your legs feel so good? Yeah. Good job, Lando. You're really moving now. Did you notice immediately his right leg stays straight? Oh yeah, that's right. It's his left leg that's bent. If you guys remember, it's his right leg that would like turn in and he would walk on his toes. That's the one in the cast on that side. Wow. I can't believe it's a pretty like walking. I know, it's I kind it. of amazing. He says, I love this. I love this. Lando, do you love it? Yeah. <laughs> Should we maybe take a break? One more step. Well, I suppose you can enjoy that with this. Yeah. Oh, Lando, you're the man, dude. Hey, love you guys, you're awesome. Love you, Jerry and Britt. Hey, in all honesty, you guys, you would not believe just the night and day difference. Like, his right leg lays completely flat. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Is that when wow. your dad's sitting on it, or just <laughs> when it's Just had 
the most amazing dinner. So much fun tonight. We had the sweetest waiter tonight that came and brought him a piece of butter cake that said, you've got this Lando. It was such a perfect night tonight. And I just have, before we go to bed, I have to say how impressed I am with Landon. Not surprised, but the doctor said that he may or may not walk today. It just depends on him and how he's feeling. And every child is different. And Landon insisted tonight on getting up and trying to walk and it just says so much about him and his determination. Not only that, the drastic difference. If you guys saw our Instagram post, you'll see how significant his limping was, his gait, etc. It had gotten so bad. So go check that out on Our Life in Holland on Instagram. However, if you compare that to today, when you saw him walk, completely different. I was teary behind my mask because he's like, Mom, I feel so loose. And this is just what I dreamed of with the surgery was that he would feel something that he'd never felt before and he's already experienced and that. his right leg before was always kind of like that right and now when he lays down it just lays flat it's just it's unreal it's not turning in when he's walking he's not on his toe it's it's incredible we have so much to come we're so excited you guys thank you today's been such a very very special day i'm, I'm gonna get teary if i keep talking but for real though thank you for your kind comments your support we your support felt so much love from all of you it's just been a perfect perfect day so thank you guys and here is the champ himself Please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you tomorrow.